Well guys, here we are on our way again, headed out from my house right now to go hunting. Um, but today we're gonna pick up my father-in-law and I get to be the cameraman. So uh, here this is <clears throat> so here's the conditions guys. We had a bunch of snow get dropped on us, probably seven, six, seven inches maybe. And then we had a massive cold front come through. So this cold front has us down all the way into the single digits. Today, I think is a high of 15. So when you're talking late season or muzzle loader, this is your ideal, ideal condition. So I'm gonna pick up my father-in-law and uh, tonight, basically what we're looking for is either mature doe or mature buck. We'll take either one tonight. Uh, so we're gonna head out there. There's been deer coming to this cut cornfield pretty routinely. Uh, and I'm hoping with these cold temps, it's gonna push them into some daytime activity. It's generally what happens. Um, it's just a matter of the laws of nature if they actually decide to pop out early enough for us to get a shot and get it on camera. So headed over there. We'll get back with you once we pick up my father-in-law Todd and uh, hopefully we can get on a big buck tonight. All right guys, just made it to the property and we're just uh, got all dressed here and we're getting ready to head out. It's probably about 1.15 now. So we're gonna get out there a little bit earlier than I have been just because it's nice and cold today. And we wanna make sure that we're, we're set up before any deer start to come out. So I'll introduce you to my father-in-law Todd here and then we're gonna head out in the woods. All right guys, this is Todd. He is new to the Tidewee channel. Uh, you can see he's all geared up and ready to rock. So you are the trigger man today. Awesome. Let's hope we can kill stickers tonight. I hope so. You guys will notice I have all sorts of heated gear on. I got all my Tidewee gear, my gloves, my jacket, everything. I cannot tell you guys how much on these days where it gets down to single digits or teens, this heated gear is a lifesaver. You can't kill deer unless you can stay in the sand. So guys, go down below in the description. You'll see a link for our heated gear. If you hunt late season like I do, you're definitely gonna wanna take a look at it. set up on our second evening out here and uh again we're in that same spot you can see i kind of fluffed up the blind here the windows because we were a little bit exposed last night so kind of cleaned it up a little bit but you can see hopefully you can see this on camera but last night those deer absolutely wreaked havoc on that cornfield so those cold temperatures definitely put them out here you can see we don't have any hats on right now we uh got a little bit warm on the hike in so uh, we're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we'll throw all of our gear on. It's a, it's a quiet, quiet afternoon. I mean, there is no wind right now. So we're gonna have to be extra, extra quiet in this blind to make sure we don't get busted this afternoon. But we're looking forward to a good hunt. Right conditions are here, so hopefully we'll see some deer. Just had a couple of deer step out from behind us. You can see this one right here. That's a fawn. And the one to the right of it is actually probably a two or three year old doe. I took a look at my cell cams and I saw that there were some deer around. Over on my apple orchard, there's a couple of bucks out there right now, but they're smaller. We're gonna give it some time, but we might shoot this doe if we don't get any other opportunities here.
Well, guys, we uh, <clears throat> gave it a valiant effort in the cold. We went out and sat. <clears throat> we had some does and fawns come out, and uh, they kind of they were really spooky still. It's almost like they were still kind of skittish from gun season. Um, so they were kind of on and off the field, on and off the field, and then finally, about 10 minutes before dark, we had a big doe walk out, as you guys saw in the video. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, right as she was kind of starting to come in and we were ready, another muzzle loader shot went off behind us and that was enough to spook her right back to where she came from. So we were definitely gonna go ahead and shoot that deer, but unfortunately she was still pretty skittish from gun season and did not like the sound of that gunshot. So we are going to come back out tomorrow, which is the last day of muzzle loader season, and we're gonna give it another shot. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can put stickers on the ground. Guys, if you like watching these videos, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, and also give me a like. Drop down in that comment section and let me know if you have ever killed a late season muzzleloader buck. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. We'll see you guys in the next one.